Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to be discussing my favourite 25 songs of the 1970s we've done the 50s and the 60s obviously so time for the 70s and uh, obviously we've got the 25 and then loads of honourable mentions again so uh, let's just get into it uh, number 25 is a song from the very end of the decade it's by Madness, My Girl yeah. very fun song there uh, same can be said for number 24 too, Lola by The Kinks. Yeah, good one there. Obviously you've got two versions, you got the uh, the Cherry Cola which was on the single version and the Coca Cola on the album version. Uh, 23 is I'm Not In Love by 10cc. Yeah, good one there. Nice slow pace but good song. Um, number 22 is from the Bridge Over Troubled Water album by Simon and Garfunkel and it's El Condor Passa which is I think translate to if I if I could something like that yeah obviously you've got some great songs on there like the title track and the boxer but yeah I do love that song number 21 is by Roberta Flack and it's the first time ever I saw your face another just lovely sl slow song there and uh, number 20 is uh, by Don McLean, not American Pie, but uh, Vincent. Yep, lovely tribute to the artist there. Uh, number 19 is a uh, maybe not so well known song, but um, it's by Mop the Hoople, All the Young Dudes. Yep, very good rocker there. Uh, number 18 is by The Doors from their final album with Jim Morrison, and it's Riders on the Storm, yeah, lovely bluesy track there. Uh, number 17 is by Dolly Parton, uh, Jolene, a bit of a country song there. I've uh, tried to include a few different genres into this list and there's that. Uh, next we've got a prog rock song by Genesis and it's Firth of Fifth. Yeah, obviously near 10 minutes long, you've got the piano solo and stuff like that, but then it goes into the guitar solo by Steve Hackett and that's just brilliant, one of my favourite guitar solos there. Uh, number 15 is uh, by The Who from their Who's Next album and it's Behind Blue Eyes. Obviously you know the classic album there, you've got stuff like Bob O'Reilly and Won't Get Forward Again. But yeah, I've gone for that one, great song. Uh, number 14 is by Van Morrison from uh, It's Moondance which is featured, of course, in the American Wealth in London film. Yeah, we all know about that scene. <laughs> um, number 13 is by Black Sabbath. Obviously, they've done so many great songs, but for me, it is Paranoid, their biggest hit there. Yeah, I've got a super deluxe 5 LP box set of the Paranoid album. Maybe show that in another video. But yeah. Uh, number 12 is by Leonard Skinner from their debut album and it's Freebird of course brilliant brilliant song I think anybody who appreciates rock music even just in a rudimentary sense it, it should enjoy this song it's just brilliant um, number 11 had to have a Beatles song because obviously Let It Be was released in 1970 so the song from the album I picked is Along a Winding Road uh, number 10 is just obviously a classic song, Nothing Else Like It, by Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Um, number 9 is by Meatloaf, and it's 2 out of 3 ain't bad. Of course, so many great songs by them, just from the uh, Bat Out of Hell album alone. But yeah, that's the one I've gone for. Number 8 is by John Lennon. Obviously, I considered imagining things like that, but then when I thought about it, I preferred Jealous Guy. So that's what I've gone for. Yep, that's number eight. Number seven is by Marvin Gaye, and it's What's Going On from the album of the same name. Yeah, I love that one. Just uh, the whole album, it's just brilliant. So, like themes of war and, you know, racism, things like that. I just, I just love the album altogether. Number six is by the Rolling Stones from their Sticky Fingers album, and it's Wild Horses. Yeah, so many great songs from that album. 
but yeah, our comfort probably the obvious one really, but yeah, I just love it, the acoustic key feel to it and love it. Number five is by a band that I could have had loads of songs for in this list. It's Led Zeppelin and the song is No Quarter from the Houses of the Holy album, which I bought recently. Number four is a brilliant song by David Bowie, my favorite of his by a mile, Life on Mars. Yeah, I mean, it might have something to do with the, the program called Life on Mars, obviously. But yeah, if you've not seen that, that program, then, you know, once this video's finished, you know, put Netflix on and go and watch the first episode of Life on Mars. It's one of my favourite programmes of all time. Right, number three is another song from the very end of the decade. In fact, the sing single of it wasn't released till 1980, but the album in November 79. It's by Pink Floyd and it's comfortably numb. Yeah, the best guitar solo ever made. In my opinion, yeah, just the whole thing is brilliant. Number two is uh, by Deep Purple from their In Rock album. And I think you know what I'm going to say, it's Child in Time. Yeah, obviously. A lot of people say that Smoke on the Water is Deep Purple's best song, but I mean, like, are you serious when there's stuff like Child in Time out there? It's brilliant, 10 minutes long. You know, you've got the beautiful vocals and the sort of howling from Ian Gillen. Uh, and then you've got like the sort of keyboardy drum bit in the middle. And then it bursts into this guitar solo by Richie Blackmore, which is brilliant. Love it. The whole album of In Rock is brilliant. I listened to that again last night and yeah, it's unbelievable. And uh, number one is a song that I've probably known for a long, long time. It's uh, by Harry Nilsson. Uh, it's Without You, from his Nelson Schmilson album. Yeah, I mean, Badfinger did a good version, obviously they wrote the song. Yeah, all respect to them, obviously. You know, the singers are no longer with us who made that, yeah. But uh, obviously, forget Mariah Carey's version, That that's just crap. But yeah, Without You by Nelson. Fantastic song. So, uh, let's go on to the honourable mentions. Uh, few of these really I didn't want to put in the list, but uh, Sultans of Swing by Die Straits, uh, Walking on the Moon by The Police, Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, Eric Clapton's band there, um, Sound and Vision by David Bowie, uh, Dance Away by Roxy Music, Wishing Well by Free, I Don't Like Mondays by The Boomtown Rats, Up the Junction by Squeeze, too Late by Carol King from the classic Tapestry album. Uh, Close to You by The Carpenters. Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. Children of the Revolution by T-Rex. Uh, the first number one of the 70s, uh, Love Grows by uh, Edison Lighthouse. Uh, Rhinestone Cowboy by Glenn Campbell. Baker Street obviously by Jerry Rafferty. Yeah, classic there. I Was Made For Loving You by Kiss. Uh, if I Can't Have You by Von Elliman, bit of disco there. Uh, Band On The Run by Paul McCartney and Wings. Uh, Teenage Kicks by The Undertones. Uh, Ever Fallen In Love by The Buzzcocks. And uh, two more from Led Zeppelin, Stay Away To Heaven and Since I've Been Loving You. And two from the Bee Gees, Run To Me and Too Much Heaven. So yeah, that's been everything. Yep. Uh, next time, obviously, I'll be continuing with this with the 80s, but I may do another rankings video or something like that before. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and uh, let me know what your favourite songs of the 70s are. Yep, I'd uh, yep, be nice for you to comment and I'll obviously reply to you. And yeah, so until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>